Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here back live at IBM Pulse. This is Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of IBM's big new cloud show, IBM Pulse. This is kind of a re, re, uh, recasting of the Pulse conference. Traditionally a Tivoli conference, now it's cloud, big announcements with soft layer. Um, it's all about the cloud. Cloud's about growth, um, soft layer is the center of the action, new software capabilities, billion dollar investment in middleware, hybrid cloud, big shift to cloud business and developers. 70% 70, 70 first timers. Watson's kind of their secret weapon. We're going to hear more about that later. Um, big developer focus. Uh, we are here with uh, two Clouderati influencers, VIPs. Rich Miller, CEO of Telefonica, involved in a variety of cloud startups going back to the early days of cloud. Also Tim uh, Crawford, who's the crowd captain, um, joining us here. Uh, guys, Dev at Pulse is going on. You're going to, hear, you're going to see Dev at IOD, Dev at Impact. Dev with the at sign, essentially a big focus for IBM. What's your take on IBM's position in the cloud, first of all, and two, can they win these new developers over? Rachel, we'll start with you. Wow, that's that's a those are heavily loaded questions. We'll start right heavy I'll right start, out of the box. I'll start. I'll, I'll start. Well, first of all, uh, what do I think about it? Can they get the attention of the developer community? I think absolutely, and they're doing a very excellent job of getting the word out. They are focused extremely well on the, not the necessarily the most cutting edge agile technologies. They're not trying to be, they're trying to uh, embrace a large community, bring them along at the pace that they can actually consume. And that is probably the smartest thing I've seen in a developer program ever. I know they can do it. Now, you asked the question about, you know, what do I think about all of this stuff? They have, for the last two years in particular, where I've been paying attention, been extremely focused on getting their efforts behind the right open source, the right communities, they have done an exceptional job with the acquisition of SoftLayer, delivering to the market what the market is still buying, wants to buy more of, and quite frankly, their biggest issue right now is how to onboard as many customers as they have knocking at the door. Tim, I want to go to you for a second. You CIO, advisory, you've been following the enterprise cloud for a while. We see each other all the shows. Uh, reinventing the cloud with, with a green field is like an Amazon play. You got a shared infrastructure with the cloud. You got smarter infrastructures, IBM's take. So they got to deal with all this service management stuff, asset management, security, blah, 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 and in a developer framework. So what's your take on the enterprise cloud with respect to these developers? And then two, what's happening at Dev at Pulse? Yeah, so two things. So I mean, you're absolutely right. When you're talking about a greenfield operation, relatively speaking, that's easy to do, right? You're starting with nothing, but at the same time, you're not inhibited by legacy uh, thinking or legacy applications or architectures or infrastructure. So there's a lot less at play there. I think one of the challenges that IBM has is how do I take that that large existing customer base and move them along, but move them along quickly enough to stay relevant? And that's a problem for IT organizations and enterprise IT organizations as much as it is for the vendor communities and the ecosystems that they're building out. Now this morning I was spending time uh, at Devit Pulse here at uh, IBM Pulse, and it's it's a conference within a conference, really geared toward developers. So they have lightning talks, they have um, different sessions, they have a playground area, and what I'm finding is that while this is their first year of doing it, they've got some maturing to go through the process. Um, the folks who are attending, it's a small community, it's a small group of folks that are attending this right now, it's not a large community as, as one might hope, um, and it's existing IBM customers. They're not attracting enough new blood into the mix yet 
to talk about cloud and mobile and some of the new security paradigms. That's one of the big challenges that they have to get over is how do I start to attract new customers into the IBM family? So That's Dev at Pulse, essentially they're ingratiating into the developer community. It's not a real hard sell over there. It's pretty much a playground. Right. It's kind of fun, Absolutely. but yet it's not a hard sell. No, no, it's not a hard sell at all. It's, it's an open, um, it's what you typically see in Silicon Valley for that matter. You know, the lightning talks, the, the openness of here are some different ways you can use the technology, and here are some fun things to do. Right. Actually, to that very point, a year ago, I was at this conference for the first time, and it was a year ago that IBM really started looking serious about the, the offerings, and the cloud offerings, hadn't yet really done the soft layer deal to the, to the extent we knew about it. What you're seeing now is, year by year, a very, for IBM, a very rapid uptake, and doing it in order and doing it at a pace that really is appropriate, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think you know that that's going to be the big challenge for IBM is how do we move things along in such a fashion that I don't kill off my existing customer base, I don't leave them behind, I can move them forward, but at the same time be relevant enough to attract the new folks. Because those two folks, those two groups of folks sit at opposite ends of yeah, the spectrum look, right look now. Look for this next year and see what, it, what okay, happens. Okay, so, so I want to I want to add something because the developer communities, our data that we're seeing in terms of a community, how communities are forming these days on social, um, IBM's share of voice is about 0.35% of the developers that they're targeting. Raspberry Pi, Eclipse, Chef, Backbone, uh, Node.js, AngularJS, Bootstrap, these are frameworks that the open developers are using, and they're on Twitter, they're not tied to these old forums. So like, in this new breed of community out of almost seven million developers that we're tracking, you know, IBM has a, like, I mean, as a rounding error. I mean, they're not in these communities. No. So, the, you know, it's a challenge. So it's not just a you know, anecdote, right. it's a fact. Yeah. You know, but they're, they're but old. you also have to take a look at those very same frameworks are now being rolled out on soft layer and being rolled out by IBM for the explicit purpose of getting that traffic. Yeah, soft is the wild card in that. So in that, right. those are IBM numbers I've been looking at. Soft is not included in that. So IBM, as they do these shows, is the old IBM. Roll out a show, still put are. up the balloons, yep. you know, blah, rah, rah, not really developer-centric. Right. It's business-centric. They're, they're saying the right words, they're starting, or I should say, they're starting to say the right words, but they're not getting enough attention to attract that new blood into the mix yet. Okay, so to end this out, we're getting the hook here. So what do they have to do to be successful, to win the developers over right now in the communities out there that are forming, that are relevant around DevOps, cloud, um, from, a, from a programming standpoint? Because someone has to build these apps. Well, What do they got to do to be successful? In a, great, in a great measure, what they are doing, and what they've just announced, the Cloud Foundry kinds of foundation, the uh, embrace of major platforms like the uh, JavaScript, the Node.js, and so forth. That is, by its very nature, being out there, being offered, being available, um, that's going to start. That's going to start it. They also have to get more visible to programs beyond just these big IBM-centric conferences. I don't think they're, they're attracting enough of the right folks in these big conferences yet. They either have to do it as smaller conferences or one-offs that are targeting those specific users. And they got to have a 24-7, 365, they got to have a ground game they all gotta, year. They got to get very social, and they're not there yet. Yeah. It's a good yeah. start, though. Dev at Pulse is a good indicator. If they can continue that course, yes. is, a, is a sea change Agreed. for IBM. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, guys, we got to go. Uh, Rich Miller, Tim Crawford, two thought leaders here weighing in on theCUBE. Uh, always want to bring that signal from the noise. These guys have it. Uh, a lot of work for IBM doing the developers. Uh, this is like, National anthem, I guess, for developers. Not fully the, not even top of the first inning, first pitch yet to be thrown. I think soft layer kind of sets the game up for them. Uh, thanks for your commentary. Well, this is theCUBE, I'm John Furrier. I'll be right back after this short break.